Defo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, giving you K pop idol life. <laughs> Hello fellow doll lovers, Barbie Nation here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. My name is Aryan, aka Barbie Nation, and what I do is I collect dolls, I play with dolls, I talk about dolls, and every now and then I give them a super cute makeover. So if you're into anything cute, sweet, and petite, definitely subscribe to my channel to get some lovely pastel glitters on your feed. Now let's get into these Defo Lucy budget dolls today. Here we go. We have a new batch of Defa Lucy dolls, and this time around, these are the budget Defa Lucy dolls. So, no copying Barbie Extra here, more like Barbie Fashionista. With the Fashionista rule, you know, one clothing item or max two if it's a shirt and a bottom separately, a pair of shoes, and one or two types of accessories that could vary from purses, sunglasses, necklaces, or earrings. I was very impressed with the previous girls that I did, and if you love the Defa Lucy restyles, uh, definitely go check those two videos out, because if you're gonna love this video, you're absolutely gonna love those. <laughs> and seeing all five of these girls together, they are totally giving me girl group vibes. So I was immediately channeling, you know, some K-pop idol groups. And yeah, I just got inspired. So I just cannot wait to give these girls a super cute makeover and uh, turn them into a super fun girl group. How adorable. But first, let's just take a closer look at all of the girls individually, starting off with uh, Miss Blonde over there. So Miss Blondie, she has the green dress with the puffy sleeves and a flower pattern on it, uh, gladiator boots, a lip brats kind of like purse, and sunglasses, and a really cute face. So what's so fun about these dolls? Well, the budget Defa Lucy dolls, as I call them, they actually have like these rubber legs that have the classic bend and snap in them. So that's really cute. Um, the faces are really nice and nicely painted. Um, and the hair quality actually also surprised me. Not for all of the girls, I have to say that, but her hair, I don't know what, I don't know if it's Saran. It doesn't feel like Saran, but it's definitely not super heavy polypropylene, maybe some sort of nylon. It does feel kind of cheap, but yeah, Barbie nowadays sometimes feels even cheaper. So she has a high ponytail, so I'm always afraid when dolls have this high ponytail that they're rooted pretty thinly in the middle. So I don't know if I will be able to give her a different hairstyle or that she's, you know, bound to keep this high ponytail forever. And then we have this purple haired beauty. She has kind of like this striped top. I love the combination of the colors on this top. It has a blue, green, pink, and white. It's, it looks very cute. And she has this pink skirt with like 
also a flower pattern on it, white sneakers, and her accessories are a uh, chain necklace and this uh, translucent purse. I have to admit, I am not the craziest fan of the purses that they come with. They're really big, large, chunky plastic purses. And, you know, we are kind of spoiled now with the mini fashion purses, so these just won't do. <laughs> Again, a super cute face. I love that she has this really bright blue eyes. A cute lip color. And I just like it that they actually kind of keep it natural on the makeup. Usually Barbie has these really weird choices of lip colors, especially on the fashionistas. Sometimes it's cute and sometimes it's sort of fashionable. But mostly it is just these really weird color choices on their faces. But with them, I just really like the face screening and the face sculpt. Yeah. <laughs> Here we have Miss Redhead. I think she's one of the popular ones among these five. Um, yeah, so she is giving, of course, super bright red Ariel vibes, but also, I don't know if you guys remember, but she's also giving me kind of Kaori Knight from Sailor Moon. I'll try to look up a picture of her, but I... I was always enchanted by her. She was kind of like a semi-villain. Was she a villain? Yes, she was a villain. Uh, she helped this crazy professor, and I don't know exactly her storyline, but I always remembered seeing her and thinking, wow, she is such a glamorous and beautiful woman. Yeah, so she's giving me kind of that. <laughs> she comes with a large camera purse. It's not actually a purse, but it's a camera, of course. But that's her accessory with some sunglasses. She has this super cute striped uh, shorts and this floral top and some um, cute pumps. Yeah, she is totally giving like vacation vibes with her look. And I think it's really cute. And again, cute face screening, um, no pixelation whatsoever on these dolls and no wonkiness. So I love it. <laughs> oh, and then we have this cutie pie. Really one of my faves, I think, but she has a slightly different face mold with kind of like showing teeth. So she has this semi open mouth smile, but for some reason, it looks like she has these bags under her eyes, <laughs> which is kind of weird. Uh, but I really love the color choice for her hair and in combination with this outfit. So she has this pink top, this leopard skirt, which kind of like, with kind of like a 90s print all over it. The boots, not a crazy fan of the boots. Um, yeah. And this uh, backpack. It's, it's giving me cute, very cute. And my absolute fave from all of these girls is Miss Lavender here. Now, first off, the length of this hair is, ah, uh, it's giving me life. I love it. And it also feels nice, soft, and again, I think Nyla Knee. <laughs> yeah. Her outfits, I love the pink boots. They're really cute. Um, not a big fan of like the pattern on pattern thing. So the top is cute. The skirt, mm. yeah, I would have picked a different skirt. I would have picked like an all pink skirt or something. Again, she also comes with a purse, big chunky plastic thing. Yeah not my thing and some yellow earrings so loving the fact that she already has holes for earrings in her head i think she's the only one yeah she is actually the only one that has earrings but uh loving the hair i am loving her face it is again slightly different from the other girls um she has more of the pouty mouth and i just think she looks gorgeous so i just cannot wait to see how she will end up because she is getting all the love from me. <laughs> so that was a quick overview of these girls. Now let's take a look and see if they have any made to move matches. Hmm. So for Miss Blondie over here, I am using the Barbie made to move. Um, well, I don't know which wave it is, but with the flaming pants and the purple top. Yeah, I don't have her head anymore on the body, sorry. <laughs> but um, I know for a fact that this is her body. So that's what we're going to use on her. Then Miss Purple Hair, I'm going to use the um, Midge Made to Move from the first wave. So this is Teal Top. She was actually kind of hard to match, actually, because first I thought she would be more kind of like a peach top girl, the more tanned complexion. But actually, she is somewhat lighter 
as you can see. For Ms. Redhead, I am using a purple top body. So this is also from the first wave, uh, Miss Purple Top. Perfect shade. So Miss Blue here, I'm gonna give her a curvy body. And I'm using the curvy girl with the strawberry blonde hair and the uh, flower pants. And for my fave girl, we have the classic yellow top. As you can see, perfect match. So Miss Yellow Top is gonna be the body match for Miss Lavender here. <laughs> So I have my dolls out, I have my made-to-move matches ready, so there's only one thing left to do. So let's head off to the salon and give these girls the Barbie Nation makeover they definitely deserve. Here we go. <laughs>
So give it up for Defa Beat. Yes, they are in the house and they are ready to get this party started. <laughs> I am really happy with how they turned out. I really think they look like this super cute, uh, fun K-pop girl group. They, their looks are just so fun and cohesive. And maybe it's a little bit conceited to say, but sometimes you're just really happy with your own end results and you get all excited. Well, that is exactly what I'm feeling right now. So I'm really happy. <laughs> And I actually love giving them all names, especially in a girl group, you know, where everyone fulfills their own part or role in that group. Um, and everyone has their favorites. So, you know, you just have to name them. So their looks, let's just go over them real quick. Miss Danielle here. Um, super cute. I actually used the Barbie Extra Fly belt. Uh, the skirt is from Cutie Reveal, the Pastel Cozy Cutie series, and the boots are from uh, Campbell Soup Collector Doll with the Carl face and the blonde hair. Yeah, loving those boots, really. They're so easy to style and they just pretty much go with any look. Um, and I think the dress I got on AliExpress actually, yeah. So then we head over to Alex, which is kind of like, you know, the innocent schoolgirl of the group. And her outfit's so adorable. So uh, the skirt um, and the top, those are actually from Y2K Mix and Match Fashions, which look so super cute and, you know, completes that look so well. Then we head over to Vicky, the red hat of the group. Um, I got that kind of like dungaree dress also on AliExpress. Um, and the top, I think, is from this hair play doll with kind of like the tiger-ish uh, rainbow hair, which has a leopard print um, on the side. You know, the side part wasn't uh, rooted and it had like this leopard print. I forgot her name, but it's the top is from her. <laughs> so then we head over to Serena, which is obviously the lead vocalist of the group. She looked phenomenal in that Naturalista's evening gown. It is perfect for a curvy body. It accentuates the curves just the way I want it to, makes it super elegant and very sexy. Yeah, I really love it. I do have to say that I was least fan of her face because she does kind of like have an empty stare. <laughs> So I paired it with kind of like this pink bolero because uh, they needed like a pink accent in their look. So um, that's why I added the pink to her look. So then we head over to my favorite. Oh, my absolute favorite, Miss Jessie. Yes. Um, okay, so her face is the prettiest. Her hair is the best. I really love it like all the way down. And um, her look uh, with that mix and match Y2K fashion i am obsessed and she's wearing the barbie extra necklace and the bodysuit from barbie extra number three actually yeah overall i have to admit the hair of these girls is kind of eh, not as nice and soft as with the deluxe girls that defa lucy also has these girls definitely all have polypropylene hair or some sort of polypropylene hair one type is better than the other. Like, for instance, Miss Jessie has a lot more softer polypropylene hair, which is much more easier to style and looks softer. While uh, Miss Serena over there and uh, Blondie Miss Danielle really had some, yeah, difficult polypropylene hair. I really wasn't able to give her any other hairstyles, though, because... The mid part, what I was afraid of was thinly rooted, so I wasn't able to really do something else with that hair. This high ponytail was factory made for her and will always be her best look. So I did end up not changing her hairstyle, actually. And of course, that banger of a show at the end, I just, I really enjoyed this. <laughs> so I hope you guys all enjoyed this as well, just as much as I did. Of course, let me know down in the comments below which girl is your favorite, which look is your favorite. Are you going to get one of these dolls? Do you already have them, maybe? Are you going to rebody them? You know, all the tea about these basic budget Defa Lucy girls. And of course, also let me know if you want me to do more Defa Lucy reviews in the future. Um, did we 
embrace Defa Lucy now as a doll community? Did we welcome her? <laughs> you know, it is, I've read a lot of things about these dolls and you either love them or you really hate them or you have an opinion about the company that they have been produced by. Yeah, she is causing quite a stir in the community. So that was it for today. I hope to catch you all in my next video and I wish you all a lovely, happy pop day. <laughs> Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And of course, click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified by any new videos that I upload. You can also follow me on Instagram at Barbie Nation. That's usually where I post all of my updates. And until the next video, mwah, big kisses from me. And I love you all.